So what happens if you die and you don't have a will, but your family doesn't agree with anybody? I'm here with Ari Salmer. When you have real estate, you need to protect it because A, it's mostly the biggest asset that most right. of us own mm -hmm. and what you're going to leave to everyone. But B, you wanna know and your people wanna know that you chose that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, Virginia also recognizes that the home is one of the major assets, like you said, right. but there are also a lot of automatic exemptions built around the home in terms of property taxes, in terms of Medicaid. Um, you know, the home is one of those assets that you can pretty easily tell Medicaid, hey, don't count this when you're counting up, you know, my money to see if I qualify for long-term mm -hmm. care. And so it's especially important, again, that you have things organized around the home, that you have your estate planning organized to make sure that that exemption is there and yeah. that you can take full advantage of it. Um, you know, in, particularly with married couples where one person may get sick and have to go to a nursing home, the other one's still gonna be in the home. There's a lot that can be done to plan for yeah. preserving that asset for the, the well spouse. And you know, if we get lucky, then perhaps also leaving it as a legacy to the kids. Right. But you know. And if that isn't done, they can lose the house because it has to be used to pay for their care. That's exactly right. Yeah, so it really is about protecting you and it your is. assets. Yeah, and it's, you know, you spent so much time and money building up your equity, taking care, hopefully lovingly, of this home. Right. You know, and it's the thing that really kind of stabs people in the heart when they realize, oh man, the house I grew up in, mom and dad are going to have to sell to pay for, you know, dad's right. care just because, you know, things weren't organized. Yeah, just because it didn't happen. Yeah. Or th most people just don't know, which it's is why I'm making a video. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't think about specific state that have, that don't have that exemption. Right. Virginia does. So that's, Virginia yeah. does. Um, West Virginia also has, you know, very powerful homestead exemptions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that may be one of the, th there are certain things that are in the federal rules. Every state has to have this rule. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't say for sure because I haven't looked at all 50 states. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if there's some sort of exemption that you can't take advantage of in every state. However, making sure that it's planned correctly right. for your state is key. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you, Ari. Absolutely. Thanks, Misty. <laughs>